hello lovelies welcome back to my channel welcome if this is your first time of stopping by thank you very much for stopping by thank you to my old subscribers thank you for all your support i really appreciate if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell so for this um for this shot when you look at the style you'll see that it's it has band so for that band i'm going to be using two inches i'm going to be the dog i'm going to the dot two inches from the normal length then i'm going to mark the remaining one with two inches allowance for the folding then for the crush the crush i did i divided the hip line by four you can add one inch to be on the safer side <laughs> then i marked it so that's the line i marked the one down is the allowance the length and the allowance and i joined the line together <laughs> Then for the hip, I'm going to divide the hip into four. The hip and the waist are divided into four. White cotton trousers or shorts. Then the lap, the knee, and the ankle are divided into two because you have two legs, but you have just one hip. So when I mark the hip, the hip measurement, you're going to divide it into two. Um, whatever you have, you're going to mark it all round to the waist to the to the length of the trouser. That's the, the reason for this is so that all your measurements will be at the center of this hip. So for this waist, the waist is um, 6.5 inches. So this you are going to mark 3 inches to the other side, 3 inches to this side. That's from the center of the hip. So that all measurements will be at the center. Then for the lap, the lap is 17 inches. That's what I marked. The lap divided by 2 is 17 inches. Then the ankle, also divided the ankle into 2. And whatever I got there, I divided into 2. One half to one side and the other half to this side. So you, when you look at it, you see that all measurements are sitting on the center of the hip. So this will eliminate that um, moving to the side or moving to the center of the trouser whenever you see someone wearing a um, unbalanced trouser. This is the, how to eliminate such thing. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. If you don't, please rewatch the video. You will. Then for the front part of the of the waist, I'm going to go down by two inches. This is to eliminate that buffness at the front part. So that's why I'm going down by two inches. Um, two inches. Then I was looking at the weight; it looks so small. I decided to increase the measurement by half on both sides. I don't know if um is from my marking or from the measurement but just to be on the safer side increase it by half inch so this is it for the front part then for the back 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 part why placing it on your fabric you put in mind that you're going to increase the back the same way you reduce the front part is the same way you're, you're going to increase the back by two inches by one and a half or by whatever inches that you deducted or you want to add this is the reason for this is so that you know we have you have um bots um but so this one you are increasing you help you to accommodate your butt your bum bum <laughs> so that's why you're going to increase the back 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 then for the allowance i added 2.5 inches allowance the only allowance you're going to add for this shot is just for the back one no allowance at the front the only allowance that you can put on the at the front if you are if you want to add that then you can add a that allowance to the front so this is it for the back one um also slant the, the the line up to that two inches that you raised and every other and then add your two inches allowance and every other thing is the same then your cut if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do where to subscribe i have lots of videos videos coming up you don't want to miss any of them and i also have sewing tutorials coming up i'm working on them very soon you are going to start having sewing tutorials on children clothes i hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you do
so this is it after cutting you have two back two front and when you look at it you see that the front is bigger than the back so i'm going to give you an idea of how to join your trousers for the back one i'm going to join i mean i usually start from the back because the zip is usually at the front or side so you join the back one the back two flap flap then join the front to the two side one side to the remember right side facing the right side wrong side facing the wrong side i'm going to you're going to join it to the two side then i just pinned this down just for the purpose of this video so i pin the two down <laughs> Then whenever you are joining, especially this first join, make sure that you are joining with the allowance um, from half to one inch so that at the end of the sewing, you don't have excess at the last sewing. Then this, after joining the two sides, you are going to fold the down part, the, the down of this. And remember, you added two inches allowance, so you are going to use two inches to fold this. Then you are going to fold this down. After folding, then you are going to join this last side of the of the shorts. You see that the front part, the front, the front is moving this the back to the front. That's exactly how trousers. When you look at female trousers, you see that once the front is usually smaller than it. This is the reason because the back is always bigger than the front. So you join these two together. If you're going to use this zip, going to use zip, the remaining place is where you are going to attach the zip. But if you're not going to use the zip, you are going to close this, you're going to attach your band, the two inches band that you deducted, deducted. You're going to cut like five inches, then use it to attach the band, to use it to attach the band, then at close this up and then add your rubber or your zip or whatever you want to use thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video share my videos too <laughs> bye bye